wind noise, nearby construction, a plane passing overhead. These are all challenges to keeping your audio clean when you're on a shoot, especially if you don't have the proper gear. This tutorial will cover some basics on clearing up audio in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Here we have three different audio clips for the same shot, but they all differ in quality. First, let's listen to the original audio. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. It sounds clean, doesn't really have any problems. Next, let's listen to the same clip with added wind noise to simulate the issue. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. That sounds pretty distracting. Now, let's listen to the edited version we corrected in Premiere Pro. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. Definitely not as good as the original, but way cleaner than before. So, how do we get to this point? Let's go ahead and start from the beginning. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. It sounds particularly bad at the end, so let's focus on that section of the clip. You can right click and press mark in at the start of the section. You can also press the I button. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. And here at the end, we can mark our out point. You can right click and click mark out, or you can just press the O button. So go ahead and move up to this plus sign on the program monitor and click to bring up the options. Out of the list, we want to pick out the loop playback and we want to drag it to where our active tools are. And you can see it pops up right there. Go ahead and click OK. It usually won't be toggled on, so go ahead and click to toggle it on. Now, go ahead and press play again. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. So you can see it loops now, which will come in handy while we're editing this video. Next, let's go over to the effects tab and find the high pass filter. Drag it onto the clip audio and access the effect controls tab. It automatically chooses a value for us, but as we listen to it, it's way too much, and our audio actually sounds really robotic. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. So we're going to set ours to 160 hertz. That's a good number setting for our audio, but it may be different depending on your audio. So go ahead and play around with this tool to find that sweet spot. Now let's go ahead and play it again and see what it sounds like. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. And it sounds much better than it did before. So you can compare them by toggling on and off the bypass filter option. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. So we still hear some pretty harsh sh and s sounds. So let's find the de-esser tool in our effects and go ahead and you can drag it up into the source panel or you can drag it directly onto the clip just like you did before. Now go ahead and click edit and this menu pops up. We can make it this pretty easy by selecting a preset for high voice de-escher. I'm gonna set it to right about there and then go ahead and play it back. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Depending on your clip, you may need to use a low voice or specifically de-esser instead. So test out these options as well. We still have a little bit of wind noise coming in, so let's drown that out as much as possible. Search for denoise in your effects and then apply that. You can click edit for this one as well. In this pop-up window, we will also use a preset. Use light noise reduction since most of the wind noise is already gone. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. So after playing that back, we can see that the wind is gone, but the audio still sounds almost radio-like. So to fix this, we select our focus to be on the lower frequencies. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Pain on the German Olympic sailing team. Now when we play it, you can see that it sounds much better. We can work with what we have so far, but there's still more we can do to improve the sound quality. Let's search for a parametric equalizer. Drag and drop that into your source panel, just like the other ones. This tool is great as it gives you full frequency control for your audio. You can see all the lower and higher frequencies. These keys help us control those specific frequency ranges. Again, these steps will differ depending on your audio, but here we're gonna diminish those very low frequencies where the wind is more pronounced. 
with one and two, we can get a little bit of that bass back so that the audio does not sound too robotic. Playing on the German Olympic sailing team. Now I'm going to increase the higher frequencies for clarity, but we don't want to go too far here since we have a feminine voice already, and that is often higher frequency as it is. Playing on the German Olympic sailing team. Playing on the German Olympic sailing team. And you can see I'm just playing it back over and over again and making some adjustments to see which one I like, with how it sounds, make sure that it's clear, and it doesn't sound too robotic. The big one that we need to fix here is the third key. German Olympic sailing team. Playing on the German Olympic sailing team. Playing on the German Olympic sailing team. Playing on the German Olympic sailing team. So let's go ahead and bring that number three down. You can see the differences as you increase it and decrease it. Now let's go ahead and play it back with the original wind noise. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. And let's mute that and then go to our fixed audio. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. It's a much more balanced audio. To add another level to our audio, check out the sound effects page on Pond5. Here you can find some excellent background noise, also called tone, that matches the clip. We found this perfect beach audio to use as our background noise. Let's go ahead and add it to our timeline. I moved out to Australia uh, for training. You can hear it's really distracting, it's too loud. So let's go ahead and lower the amplitude and then we can play it back. Training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. And it sounds good, but it lacks a little dimension. So to fix this, go to your effects, look up reverb, and then let's apply the studio reverb option out of these choices. You can go to the effect controls tab and click edit to bring up the options. We can adjust the dryness and the wetness of the audio. Drier essentially will mean less echo. We can increase the room size, adjust the low and high frequency cuts, and we get a slightly echoey version of the audio now in the background that feels more three-dimensional. So here's the comparison. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. I moved out to Australia uh, for training in my Sydney Olympic campaign on the German Olympic sailing team. We went over a lot in this video. But there's so much more that you can do to improve your audio quality, especially when utilizing Adobe Audition. Let us know if you found this helpful, and stay tuned for more Pond5 tutorials to enhance your edits.